There was a time in the not too distant sports past when being called the GOAT wasn't a good thing. Instead of an acronym for greatest of all time, a GOAT was someone who made a costly or boneheaded mistake. Someone touches the football here. It's Leon Lett. No! Miami goes home with a miracle win. And Wright fumbles, picked up by Leon Lett. He's being chased by BB. Watch out! That's going to be a touchback to Buffalo. Gotta have an E! Let's go, DP! Last Sunday, Seattle's DK Metcalf had an old school GOAT moment in the first quarter. Russell Wilson drops back seven steps. Looks, he's gonna let it fly again. DK Metcalf out there, he's open. He's got the catch. Did he get to the end zone? I don't know if he broke the plane of the end zone. The ball was slapped out of his hands. It is gonna be a touchback. That's his, you know, that's, it's a terrible play. It really is, because he's got a touchdown, just finish it off. The whole thing was gorgeous, and then he started celebrating too early. But the lesson learned will help everybody. That's a learning experience for each and every person as a receiver. That's something that we can all be reminded that it's not over until we score and the rest blow the whistle. That's a touchdown off the board. Oh, DK Metcalf hates himself. Somewhere Leon Lett on the Cowboys sideline and saying, don't feel bad about it. That's it, Trey, you don't give up. Come on, come on. Keep young. working. He's so young, he's only 22, but you know, there's no excuse for it, he knows that. He's like a little brother to me, you know, we were so close, you know, and I told him, I said, listen, there's another opportunity. I mean, it comes your way, you're gonna make the play. And the good thing about him is he'll never do it again. One good thing about football is that the games last 60 minutes, and an early goat can become a hero late by bouncing back with a turning point. What's great about our club in that situation is the mentality. There was a moment in there we said, you know, field goal wins it. And then we looked at each other and said, we're going for a touchdown. Russell Wilson has the offense circled around him out on the field. They love to put six on the board right here as the Cowboys lead 31-30. Metcalf to the left side. They got a four-man rush. Russell looks, sets, has time. Gonna throw the end zone. Yeah! It's DK! He makes the catch! DK Metcalf makes up for the play earlier. Touchdown with 147 left to play. The fact that he came back, of course he did. He's such a great competitor. He's not going to let something like that hold him down. He bounced right back, and there he was available for the game winner. Get in the end zone, then stunt. Metcalf's redemption was the result of two things. His willingness to run all out for the entire play and great pass protection. Facing third and three, the Cowboys' frontside secondary defenders tightened down, attempting to prevent a short completion for a first down. This left a void in the deep half of the field for Metcalf to run into behind the frontside safety. There's no way they think that he's going to continue all the way across to the other side of the field. Russell Wilson now has set the NFL record for the most touchdown passes in a player's first three games of a season with 14. Let's get it then. Let's get it Let's go, man. The last play, you know, we had great protection. Those guys in the offensive line doing an amazing job holding those guys down on that play. Just give me enough time. DK scampers to the back of the end zone there. Boom, here goes touchdown. Big time catch, DK. Good stuff. Where the bounce back? I was really happy that he was able to score that last touchdown and be able to, to give us that game winner. You know, I think it allows a lot of people to kind of let that slide, let it go. The Seahawks come back and beat the Dallas Cowboys 38 to 31.